And so we're back once again! Hey everybody, it's Tomei Tries once again with Mega Man X8. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, because I thought maybe I should play it a little bit more and make sure everything goes pretty good. So last time we beat Bamboo Pandemonium, and I showed off his weapon techniques a little bit in a stage. Um, fortunately, I didn't actually complete that because I should have gone through with X and gotten stuff. So we're going to go ahead and try that first. Um, but before we do that, we've got enough medals to buy some stuff. So let's go ahead and see what we can get. It costs pretty cheap to get two of their things. Right, 1,500 and only 500 for a weapon up. So I could do that with two characters. And I really need the life ups as much as I you know, would want to be a badass and kind of do this without life ups. They seem important. Uh, I know for this next level, um, I'm probably going to want to go through with Axel, just because I know it's one of those like speed based stages. So I'm going to take X and I'm going to buy one of his life ups and buy a weapon up for him so that he can shoot more. And then, for actual, I'm just gonna buy a life up. And then hold off, because if for some reason I made a mistake and I need to use zero, I can buy the life up for him instead. So let's go ahead, and we're gonna go back to Noah's Park first and get some stuff from in there. Darn. But first... X? What's the matter? The mission's only just begun. That's right. It's begun again. How long must this war go on? I kind of started wondering at this point if maybe X's whole anti-war agenda was because people wanted to stop making Mega Man X games. Just the thought of wiping the floor with those Mavericks makes my trigger finger itch. And Axel represents the fans. Axel. No, Alia. Axel's right. There's no time to be wishy-washy here. Even as we speak, Mavericks are causing havoc. <laughs> If you look at it that way, it's a little bit sad. Okay, so we're gonna go back into Noah's Park, and we're gonna take X with his new foot part. Roger. And I'm gonna take Here Axel come. just because it's faster. No navigation assistance. Dun, 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 dun. So one of the, the the cool things, and I guess you know, I kind of did that a lot. Um, when I was showing off their items last time, is that by using Axel, I can use enhanced or different weaponry without having to worry about weapon charge, which is why I didn't buy his weapon up. And you can see it makes it so that I can spam shots a little bit, which is fun, for me at least. It might be a little bit annoying for you guys sound-wise, but I do have to deal with it too, so... Ooh, actually, I should have taken Zero here. There was that thing that was up there that I wanted to get to. I don't know if I can get to it with Axel. Nope. Okay, so hindsight. <laughs> um. Mistakes, mistakes. I know, mistakes were made. I hate how they do your score check even when you're just doing something like that. So, it's X because I need to pick up the X part, and 0 because I need the double jump. It's not going to be as fun. I like exploding things. But when I do get into the next boss's stage, I'm going to take Axel because that grenade launcher Makes it easier for the things that I have hard time with in this game, which is getting overwhelmed by the small space. So because that that weapon does give me such a huge blast radius, it'll be convenient for that for that tool. Took damage intentionally because that thing powers up robots, and I am not a fan. There we 
go. And then you just come up here and there's a hidden chip. And the reason that I don't want to take him into the other stage is because his attack that he got from the last guy, that stab that I just did, this stab is just way too weak with this. And one of the things that I liked about this game, although um, you don't get to see it as much as you did in 8, uh, sorry, as in X7, is that he doesn't have um, the weapons you have to get separately. So in the other, in 7, they wanted to change it up a little bit by not only making it techniques, but you get weapons as well, I believe. Like, you get like the Knuckle Duster and things like that. If I remember right, I could be completely wrong about this. Um, but in this game, you get techniques again, and you have to find the chips which are hidden somewhere for his weapons. And so, hopefully I'm going to remember how to do that. I don't think you can get that yet, because I don't think Green Missile works on it. Nope. So I need to come back probably with the helmet part. No boss here, that makes that easier. I'm gonna keep using zero because of these little mini tools. I don't know. There's, you know, people always talk about like, oh, is it a me tool or a metar? Because the different games use different things. And personally, I like me tool because I think it's cute. But and then metar is from Battle Network. I thought something like this might happen someday, so I've prepared parts for you. I know he says that, but it really does seem like there's just an AI Dr. Light that makes parts all the time. Equip this part, and you'll gain the ability to perform new kinds of charge attacks. Equip this new ability and board the capsule next. He also gets less informative about how you do it. He used to tell you exactly what the part does, but now he's like, just step into the damn capsule and then you'll see it for yourself. I hope this is the last time we need to use weapons of war like this, X. I really do. He's also representing Capcom and their need to not make this kind of game anymore. So you can see now his shots are... He gets a gigantic laser like that. And you full charge. I can't move during that. And his regular charge shot is a little bit bigger. And they put that box there in case you didn't take zero this time. Because before they were like, you have to use the double jump. So, it's a cool laser, but I can't move during it, so it has its own weaknesses as well. Like, for example, for this part, it's cool for that, but then after that, switch up. It's just easier to do this with zero. I have to admit, like, I'm not used to the controls being a little bit softer? I don't know if that's the term I would use, but I don't feel as confident doing the double tap dash as I used to, which could just be because I'm out of practice. And that's why it's I keep messing up on that. I don't know for certain though. See, and then the good thing about this charge, it's way more powerful, but it can do... See, I'm like stuck there waiting, so it becomes a time sink. And I think his regular shot is more powerful, too. In fact, I actually think that maybe his second level charge can do the break now. I'm not 100% on that. But, I don't know, it kind of feels like it. I just don't want to do this on the button. I'm not getting any of the chips this time, which is sad, but whatever. Whoa. That higher jump is way more useful than I thought it was. But I'm a fan of this, um, the, the Icarus version. I believe his helmet only does like a head crush thing. But I don't think that really makes a big difference. I didn't actually check, um, sorry. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, so unlike, um... X4 and whatnot. You don't actually get to see how many shots you get with that. And I'm assuming it's because they're not going to change the bar and there's no room on the interface. 
And I kind of blame the interface for that, because I don't like this horizontal bar that they're using compared to, you know, X1 through 6. Oh look, now I still have a B rank even though I found things. And I've improved my score. Yeah, it's still picky like that. The rare metal you found has been made into a new chip. Rare metals contain powerful properties that are perfect for chip making. If you manage to find a rare metal, be sure to bring it to the lab as soon as you can. Which happens as long as you end the level anyway, so that's just them being, you know. So what did I get? Oh look, weapon bottle full. But that's still a one-time use thing. I think this last thing was like the energy tank. So I have to find one more and then I can just buy the weapons tank instead. I'm not gonna buy it. It's cheap, but I mean, we're, we're gonna try to be a little more efficient here. Okay, so now that we've done that, I could go to the next person, so... It's going to be the sunflower, because... Something about bamboo eating panda makes me think that sunflowers would be a good weapon against it. So once again, we're taking him with his two power-ups. Roger. And we're taking him because I can use his grenade launcher. Uh, again, we'll take Pallet just in case there's something here that I don't know about. Optic Sunflower. It probably works for a cable company. You have to clear each area in order to move on to the next one. Depending okay. on your score, the next training session will be altered. Okay, so it's like Cyber Peacock's thing. For better or for worse. Let's go ahead and make use of our new um, grenade launcher. Yeah, see, so you've gotta like beat things as fast as possible. Which this is really helpful for, look at that. Woohoo! Ah, oh, wrong side. I'm starting to try to guess where they're gonna come from. Look at that one shot. I'm just spamming needlessly. Look at that good combo. I don't know what constitutes the good combo. I guess it's timer. In which case, this game is just screwing me out of good combos because I could do better, but you're not letting me. See, hurry up. Next one. I can do better combos. Just let me do better combos. Okay, it's yellow. That timer on the bottom went yellow, which is cool. Three, two, one. Last round. Yeah! Aw. Just means I did okay. I guess maybe I fired too much. I think more more guys would be visible on the screen if I fired less. Okay, where's the guy coming from? Okay, down there. Cool. I don't know if you get something really good for making it all the way to the end, like at the top, or if you have to be all at the top or not. Because if you have to be all at the top, then I've already screwed up. But whatever. We'll see. If it's like Cyber Peacock, then there's like a, a special chip hidden somewhere in this in here. Ah. That was my bad. You know what? I'm gonna restart. I'm just a little OCD. I'm not going to do this all the time, but because of how easy that first mission was, and the second mission, uh, it just makes more sense for me to do this over again. Roger. I think maybe for that one, Here I come. now that I know about it, it would be easier to use X. And besides, don't you enjoy the rock riff? <laughs> but up. I'm gonna skip your dialogue if I can. No. So this is good for the first one, I think. 
I think it's better than using X because with X I would have that problem where his charge shot would end up stalling because I used the Icarus parts. Whoa. That was scary. That's probably why I'm losing a lot of time. Oh, if I memorize the pattern, then I bet you I could avoid wasting time. Am I doing better than last time? I can't tell. Oh, wasted a lot of time on that one. 80, come on. 85, ah. I wonder if 90 is the threshold or 100. Oh well. well. At least this one I know I can do fast. Okay, so I need to test that a little bit. Okay. So I can hold the button down and he'll shoot it at a way slower pace, but he won't move. Or I can spam it. If I spam it, he'll be way faster. But I move, which is how I fell off and died last time. I get to keep my charge? Awesome. So I can just shoot that in your face there. There. Is that good enough? That seems good enough. Be cautious. I have this feeling this next one is going to be more axle based. Whoa! Well, the hovering does help. Ow! Oh, and I died. Okay, okay, I'll level with you guys. This time, I, I'm just gonna use the retry chip. Oh, okay, so it levels you down if you fail. Okay, well, that wasn't that bad. Picking up on what looks like an incredibly tough substance that is resistant to attack. Only the power of a black hole could put a dent in it. It'll take a huge amount of energy, which means one of the bosses will give a black hole power. And that's probably it. I hope that's not the last Icarus power up, because if it is, that'll suck. Shall we just try it as X? I mean, I have the charge shot. Whoa! And I wasted the charge shot. And I wasted the team attack, because I meant to switch and I hit the wrong button. Yeah, I'm a com I'm a complete butt right now. I'm just gonna switch to Axel and run through the rest of it. That was horrible of me. And this well, is like an obstacle in one of the other Mega Man games. Sorry, I saw a chip down there. And if I in that game, you had to use X, you couldn't use zero, because zero's double jump wouldn't work, and you couldn't use one of the X armors because he wouldn't be able to do the dash. So we're back on the high track, let's see what we can do here. That worked. Actually, one of the things I remember and I forgot to do, actually is um there was a code that I could have put in and then it would let me fight Give me a hand. Leave it to me. um Cutman as a as a hidden boss thing I believe in this area.
hit. Sorry about that. Ugh. Just had to focus a little bit because, again, the the screen structure is a little bit horrible. Can't be helped. Okay, here we go. Whoa, guys. Okay, firing lots of grenades. <sighs> See, and if I took the if I didn't take the life up, I would have been so low on life now. Whoa, okay. Got to be careful. I believe these are kill spikes, so Ah. Uh. Should have air dashed. That was my fault. Well, we've got one more retry. Now see, this is why I said one boss per thing, because I'm pretty sure that I'm going to die a lot playing this game. Because, you know, I may like Mega Man games, but it has been a long time since I've oof, <sighs> played through one well. Whoa, so this must be the boss, which I am completely abandoning all strategy, because I've got a grenade launcher. I bet you that would have been harder if I was on the, heart, the upper difficulty, and I probably would have gotten a better reward as well, rather than just those yellow chips. But oh well. Oh, I can't grip that wall, that's weird. Or that one. Oh, okay, this is my reward, so... Yay! Like I said, it probably would have been more. I probably even would have gotten a special chip or something. Boss time! I think. I don't have any retries, so I'm just gonna go in... with Axel. See, I think if I had put in the code, the Cutman mini-boss thing would have been here. That would have been fun, but oh well. Warning. 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 Here comes the dialogue. Or a laser. He's a sunflower. A maverick hunter? Here? Oh, she's a... whatever. Who in the world are you? Why are you here? Who am I? This guy's out of control. Oh, okay. This guy. That's where you're wrong. We may not be the good guys, but we're no monsters. Well, you're a talking robotic sunflower, so I think that Such counts as a monster. Concepts are beyond the grasp of half wits like you. I'm not gonna deny that Axel can be a little bit stupid sometimes. So what I'm planning to do here is just like the panda. Okay, it stuns him when I hit him with it. Just like with the panda, after if Axel takes enough damage that he's gonna die, I'm just gonna do a team attack if it's charged. That way I don't have to worry so much of whoa about his health. Because then switching over to X might be okay, but I'll also whoa. I also have to deal with um, having a limited amount of shots. And I bought the weapon up just for that exact point, but I don't want to risk it. Really? So if I just stay still, you're just gonna like stand right in front of me, aren't you? Yep. You're expecting me to move. Isn't that cute? You're... you're strategy is out. Okay, teleporting on top of me does hurt. So I guess I should be ready to move in case you're standing right on top of me. Oh crap! Okay, that that is not fair. How am I supposed to? What the fudge! Ah. So yeah, that sucked. We're gonna do it again. 
Don't you worry, it'll be faster this time. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I'm only doing one Maverick a session. And no, I'm not gonna work on, I'm not gonna make any more tips. Let's work together! Not even an go. energy tank chip. At least not until I uh, get the full energy tank thing, so I don't have to keep paying for it. Optic I mean, you do have to keep paying for it to fill it, but it's cheaper. Refill cost is cheaper, if I remember right. You have to clear, depending on your score. So once again... So left first. Dang! That's not good. Still slow. Still slow. I'm trying to use like a left and right spread thing to try to compensate for the problem. I think I'm only making it worse though. Because I can only fire three at a time. Oops, took damage. That's probably going to affect my score, too. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going to waste a retry chip on that. <laughs> oh, that was sad. Good job. Yeah, yeah. I know, it's kind of pathetic, but... It's funny. Here we go. Maybe this time, since I've already gotten through the whole stage with her, I'll go through the stage this time with Lair and see what she has to say about our, I mean, Optic Sunflower. This place was originally its program so that you must clear each. Okay. So, see, you even get to learn interesting things about the stage locations. Like why it would make sense to have a holographic test chamber like this. And apparently it's because it's a test chamber. Cool, 11 point combo. Ah, oh, that's definitely gonna affect my score. You know, a thought does occur to me that I could probably just sit here and do this. That does seem to be going just as fast, doesn't it? Maybe even faster. Oh well, lesson learned. A little bit late, I know. But I really do believe it's faster for this one. See how fast that was? That was so fast it was like blue streak speed by. Sonic the Hedgehog, I know. <laughs> That's another habit if you're gonna keep watching this with me is I'm gonna break out into songs every once in a while. Uh, what was the next one? Uh, I think it was the one where you have to shoot down the thing and it's easier if I just use Mega Man Charge Shot, right? Yeah. Charge Shot you in the face! Took a little bit of damage is not good because I think it only gives you one heal and I'm gonna need to use both of them. But we'll see. Oh. 
It's gotta be an easier way to do that one. I know the answer is probably zero, but. Let's just use Axel and let's just shoot at him. Or do that. I'm lazy. Let's hope that that works. Because I've already wasted a lot of time and I do not want to have to deal with losing another life. Okay, cool. Yeah, whatever. I kind of just want to move on now. <laughs> that was an embarrassing performance on my part. Now that, on the other hand, is how you're supposed to do it. Almost screwed that up, Major. See, I also have a hard time telling exactly where the Q point is. Because up until the point that he falls yeah. off, it's, he stays in the same pose. Even with his legs hang dangling off the edge. Still counted. It was faster with the exploder, but I'm not gonna yeah, argue. Leave it to me. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I will burp too. Ooh, what was the next one? Let's switch. Here I come. Okay, these two guys. Okay, and then, granted, I don't get myself killed this time. Let's, we'll get to see how fierce that dragon is. Ooh. That is a scary jump. So let's see how fierce this dragon is when he's on difficult mode. He actually seems somewhat easier, doesn't he? See if I get something cool for that, though. Or if I have to do it with all tops. Because if I do, then I'm coming back one day with... I don't know, I guess you have to do it with all tops. I'm coming back with zero at one point or something. Here we go! Axel, can you oh. hear me? The management program of the training area is named Helios after the sun. I've detected energy used by Helios in the target. Apparently the target can alter its surroundings. Okay. So basically, it's talking about she's talking about the first half of the fight. Where he switches around where the platforms are and I just shoot him in the face with a grenade launcher until he dies. <laughs> I'm skipping it. You guys heard it last time. He's crazy. He needs to be destroyed. Oh, okay. I'm not doing so well this time. Just kind of keep moving around in case. Okay, so the only reason I didn't die from that is because it wasn't really a thing, it was just to prompt the stage change. So I lucked out there. Oh, see, otherwise that would have happened. Next time he pops up really close, I'm probably gonna just trigger the, the team attack as a safety. One more hit, one more hit, one more hit, one more hit. Ooh. There, team attack. It's not gonna kill him, but X is probably gonna die on this hit, so. Leave it 
Give it to me. Chip bonus. Chip, 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 chip bonus. Chip, chip, chip bonus. Chip, chip, chip bonus. Da, ba, 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 ba. Shining ray, ray gun, and ten shoha. Well, who's not taking zero into the next round? This guy. Because <laughs> ten shoha is probably the only one that takes weapon energy. They look in A for once. That looked like a hard fight. But there was never any doubt that you'd come out on top. Because mm, I have retry chips. So I'm going to save. Because I always do. See, look, that didn't take nearly as long as I would have thought it would have taken. And then, uh, let's go take a look at the two techniques. Well, okay, let's go take a look at, at two of their techniques. I'm going to skip that because I'm just going to load the game again next time. Noah Park again, and this time we'll take Mega Man, and we'll take Here Axel. Just to take a look at what Shining Ray looks like and uh, how the ray gun damage or the ray gun movement works. Zero's one is pretty standard, I mean he always has one of those stomp the ground light beam things. So Ten Shoha, which is like rising, well heaven's rising ray. Wave, sorry, wave in Japanese would make sense. A weapon harnessing the power of light can be fired in eight directions. Oh, okay, so he does like a fireworks attack. Looks like it doesn't take a lot of energy, so that's great. Um, Good luck. Uh and ray gun. See how this is the first weapon on the list? It makes me feel like he was supposed to be the first one to fight. So this ray gun. Looks just like a, a. Oh, it's kind of weak. It takes like two shots to kill a, a bee. Yeah, it takes a while to kill things with it. So it's it's a super fast kind of nice spread gun, but it's not high power. So that's what we'll take off of that. Okay then. Let's just head back to the R and D lab then. Because I'm not gonna. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna load next time. But there we go. That's the new powers that we got for this one. Next time, we find out which thing is most likely dark because our attacks are called Shining and Ray Gun and Heaven things. So, most likely the thing we're going up against is dark. Suzuku. Jikai. Ma that is no whatever <laughs> see you next time everybody uh if you like what you like comment you can subscribe if you don't like what you like well you could still comment but i don't like you know i don't want to force you to do it so anyway see you next time on tomei tries laters